Click the bell, turn on all notifications, and subscribe for around-the-clock WWE news in real time. The home of the most consistent and dedicated breaking news in WWE, Sean's View Ends, is here for you. Like, comment, and share today. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your show of shows, The Brash and the Brazen. Become a channel member today. We're going to fill you in on the latest, the greatest, the newest, the most significant, and the most informative, the most descriptive WWE news. Ladies and gentlemen, we got breaking news on a massive return to world wrestling entertainment. This man is an icon. He is a legend. He is legendary in the world of professional wrestling, guys. I cannot believe this is going down now. That Vince McMahon is out and Triple H is in. Listen to this, viewers. One of the all-time greats of all time. A man that was good on the mic. A man that had a solid character. A man that was decent in the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, Jesse Ventura. Jesse the Body Ventura is in negotiations with WWE for a return. Now, we heard several days ago that he was in talks with WWE, but now he's actually in talks for a return. This is an update, because here on Sean's View, we don't just give you the news, the rumors, the headlines, the speculation, the gossip. We give you any updates, changes, or developments in WWE. Also, another major return to the WWE, according to those in the know. The health status is being exposed online amidst a prolonged Injury hiatus is being revealed, and that is being to the tag team division in the WWE. Listen to this one, viewers, fans, and subscribers, and it's so important to become a channel member today and donate in the comments section below. Eric, Eric from the Viking Raiders, Eric's health status. He says he's doing good, he's feeling okay, but he's still a number of weeks or months away from a return to the WWE. Also, Damian Priest, great breaking news on the world champion of Raw, Damian Priest. Listen to this one, guys. According to sources, Damian Priest is receiving a creative freedom under his new deal with the WWE. So he's got some creative say, creative freedom, whether it's a storyline, a character, who he goes against, how he wins. Do you think that this is a good idea for Damian Priest to have creative control over his character, your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions. And are you ultimately a fan of Damian Priest at the end of the day? Also, who is calling out Merchandise Store for unauthorized use of their likeness? According to those in the know. WWE Hall of Famer, WWE legend. <laughs> the legendary. Woo! The father of Charlotte Flair, Ric Flair, is calling out a merchandise store for the unauthorized use of his likeness. Also, ladies and gentlemen, we got breaking news as Ivar says that the Viking persona is more than just a gimmick and a big, well, we got we got breaking news here on the game and WWE being criticized. What, what is going on here? We're going to get right into it. Listen to this one, guys. WWE is being criticized for not answering key questions during their post-show press conferences. Do you feel that is a theme? Do you think that is a thing? Your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions. Also, the WWE has filed a massive extension in the SmackDown fan injury lawsuit. Yes, the WWE has a massive lawsuit placed against them. What are your feelings and your thoughts on this injury lawsuit? Will this ultimately uh, be paid out in millions or billions of dollars? Your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions. Also, Rowdy Ronda Rousey receives support for speaking out against the WWE. Are you for Rousey or are you against Rowdy, Ronda Rousey? Also, The Undertaker calls for gritting. Oh, wait, 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 wait. The Undertaker is now calling for grittier WWE content under the new leadership of WWE. Well, we have been seeing more blood, more violence, more swearing, bad words, foul language, whatever you want to call it. We have been seeing that, but apparently The Undertaker, the conscience, the legend, Hall of Famer, wants to see a little bit more of that. Also... In a breaking news announcement, Titus O'Neil's second book is slated for a fall release. To be honest with you, I love all the work Titus is doing, but I didn't even know he had a first book. Also, ladies and gentlemen, with a former AWA star, Bob Buggers, passing away at 80 years old, we now have this tragic details to give to you. We're going to uncover it all for you right here and right now. Listen to this one, guys. 
Tammy Cinch, Sonny, the former Sonny, is being listed as a witness in a fatal, a deadly DUI crash lawsuit in Florida. Your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions on the deadly DUI crash lawsuit in Florida and now how Tammy Cinch is being listed as a witness. Are you compelled by this? Are you intrigued by this? Is Sonny got in a, another way out? Is there sunny days ahead for Sonny? You know, I remember when Sonny was doing the whole dating thing online several years ago. And she said that I'm not going to date a man if you got missing teeth, if you got no hair, I'm not going to date you. I'm not going to go out with you. Well, goddamn, son, I'm not going to date or go out with someone that's in jail for DUI. You want to come out there and say, oh, I won't date a man that has no teeth or missing teeth. Are you kidding me? And now Sonny, not looking too Sonny for Tammy Cinch. Um, She's really the creator of her own problems. Your thoughts your comments, and your opinions on this fatal DUI accident. Also, we got breaking news on Vince McMahon. Listen to this one, viewers. Max Caster addresses targeting Vince McMahon in WWE in his freestyle raps. Of course, we all know Max Caster is an AEW wrestler. Also, Dakota Kai staying health conscious post-ACL injury. So sometimes you don't want to watch out too much. Sometimes you don't want to be too cautious, too warning, because then it can come back to haunt you. Sometimes you just got to get back on the horse and you got to ride it. You got to glide it. Also, coming through the desk of the brash and the brazen, where we raise the bar by far for all my viewers, subscribers, and fans. The next PLE main event set for the King and Queen of the Ring being Logan Paul versus Cody Rhodes. Now, there's been a lot of rumors and speculation. Is it going to be one belt on the line, two belts on the line, no belts on the line? Well, there's rumors and speculation that there will be a special troubleshooting referee or special enforcer for this match. Your thoughts, your comments, and your feedback. And who should be the special referee or enforcer for that match? Also, ladies and gentlemen, breaking news. The Undertaker blasts those who approach wrestlers at airports to sign bulk items. Because you got to understand, these wrestlers are going fast. They're going quick. They don't have a lot of time. There's a time and place to do it, and it's probably not at an airport. Also, TNA confirms the Slammiversary pay-per-view date location and details. Ladies and gentlemen, it will take place on July the 20th. Also, the WWE is implementing strategies to inspire U.S. audiences to emulate WWE Backlash France excitement. So the fan, the WWE wants the fans to be a little bit more loudlier, a little bit more roaring, a little bit more cheering. And I could see that because, you know, some of these USA crowds, not all of them, but some of them are dead. They're just sitting there. They just got their hands on their lap. They're not saying a lot. They're not doing a lot. I mean, really, I mean, with the amount that you pay for a ticket now to watch WWE or any sporting event, I would hope you're just not going to go there and just sit there. But have no fear, the Brash One is here. Subscribe.